the vagus nerve, possible secret into improving great health and launching into massive success in your life. So before I talk about the vagus nerve, I'm going to talk about the nervous system a little bit. There are two types of uh, nervous systems in our body. One is called sympathetics or high energy systems. You can think of it more like male energy, like ha, or going to the gym and working out. That's more sympathetics. Then there's another system in our body called parasympathetics. It's more of a rest, digest is the name of the system. We go into sleep, it's a restful state. At all times, however, the sympathetics and parasympathetics are running, but they need to be balanced. There are some theories that what causes um, health issues, whether it's hypertension, high blood pressure, um, cancer, uh, back aches, that the nervous system is slightly unbalanced. And it used to be the thinking that the sympathetics were in overdrive. Now there's some new thinking that uh, the parasympathetics are weak in comparison to it. So <clears throat> parasympathetics uh, is more like a feminine energy. It's more relaxed. It's very calm. It's kind of delicate. It doesn't mean weak, but it's strong in a different aspect. So <clears throat> where am I going with this? Well, <clears throat> um, when most people today have health issues, including cancer, they showed this in a recent PubMed study, that if you have a lot of vagus nerve, if the vagus nerve is acting properly, that even though you have cancer, it may be insignificant because the vagus nerve helps return the body to something called homeostasis or to a normal state. Um, there's a lot of things that go into this too. Like there's people who go to the gym and are doing fitness, and even though they have great intentions, the studies show that one third of the people who go to the gym get injured, one third make no change. So people then bias towards thinking they're not working hard enough and actually what they're doing is digging a bigger hole because what's happened is they've got they don't realize that they're in something called a catabolic state in other words the more sympathetic activity they do the more they try to do fitness actually they dig a deeper hole and it looks something a little bit like this hopefully you can see it here on the chart so on this side is catabolic state. So even though you're doing more fitness, it's a negative state. You're digging a hole. And what we want to do is due to some new research, we can use something from heart math. And heart math came out with a little device that hooks up to your ear that is an HRV monitor. Now, HRV stands for heart rate variability. And what that means is <clears throat> our what makes mammals unique is we can go from a zero resting state to a quick power demand and increase of power output from our heart. This variability from zero to 100 allows us to escape. That's the gazelle that's down by the waterfront and the crocodile comes up and that quick burst of heart activity and the firing of the sympathetic nervous system, the gazelle can evade danger. And that, that serves as well. Crocodiles can't do that. They don't have that type of variability of their heart. So that's what makes human beings unique with heart rate variability. Now, <clears throat> heart rate variability was um, discovered during the times of um, the space race and the Soviets used it to determine whether or not they're, they're killing their guys or not and training them to be cosmonauts. Because if you overtrain someone, and this happens a lot in fitness, people overtrain and they actually, the more they work out, the worse it gets. With their training, they get injured, they get sick, a lot of bad things happen. So what is the device here that I just showed you from HeartMath do, well, you, it works well with iPhones, um, iPad devices, anything that's Apple product. You plug it right in and then you clip it up to your ear and it measures your heart rate variability. Now, <clears throat> so <clears throat> a good heart rate variability is a sign of great health. So your heart's down here and the vagus nerve goes from your heart directly in the center of your body, directly to the brain. There's 12 nerves that go directly off the brain that are not through your spinal cord. And the one is the vagus nerve. So by some very specific breathing into your heart with a specific pace and rhythm, it will cause vagal nerve stimulation. And the wild thing of all is our heart isn't what we think it is. It's more than just a pump. The new research shows our heart is actually a brain. And that's why, you know, 
uh, when we tell our children or someone we love, we say, we love you with all my heart. It's also a massive emotional center. It has its own endocrine system, endocrine hormones that make you feel good, all of our emotions. And it's also a massive electrical center. So just like the earth has a large electromagnetic field around it, our hearts are what put off a vibe or a vibrational energy around us so that people can feel like I don't, that person has a really good vibe or that, that person makes me feel good just being in their presence or some people get a bad vibe from. All this is linked to that vagal nerve stimulation and how well the vagus nerve is doing. And it's mediated or controlled through our breathing. And I found this to be fascinating that one thing can help people perform better, to live longer, and reduce your chance of cancer, heart attack, and improve weight loss, and improve digestion, all from one little thing. Now, it doesn't seem like that, <coughs> that one thing could do that, but when we understand our nervous system and how it works, and understand the intricacies of it and how it needs to be balanced, and, and it became a balance from all the stress we have in our minds, but we can quickly reset it or begin resetting it by doing some specific breathing, stimulation of the vagal nerve, and allow the nervous system to balance itself out. So that's a good introduction into um, the nervous system and how the vagus nerve can be of benefit. I use that in my office. We're taking care of a lot of patients, and I've seen some real breakthroughs from people. So hope this helped. Have a great day.